Hey everyone, it's Joe with Acorn Land Labs, and today we're going to be finishing the inside of the canvas bell tent. We have just about everything we need for it, but we'll be getting some last minute items today. We'll be baking bread in the Ghost Sun Solar Oven, baking some apples, searing up some steaks, and more. Today's going to be a fun episode. We're glad you're here. Okay, so Kimball just got back with all the supplies for the tent. I'm going to carry all that up here, unbox everything, and then set it up in the tent. It's going to look really cozy. Welcome to Joe's Outdoor Kitchen. Today we're going to be preparing a basil braided bread. Never made it before. Let's see if it turns out. I'm really excited because online it looks amazing, but we all know when you make something that comes from Pinterest, it ends up looking a little, well, not so Pinteresty. With all of this stuff, it's gonna make it super epic. I'm gonna take them in one by one and set them up. We'll be using this Ghost Sun Solar Oven to cook the bread in, because it bakes really well. We'll also be searing up some steak, which is gonna be pretty awesome, but we'll be using the campfire for that, and then we'll be using another Ghost Sun Oven to roast some potatoes, peppers, onions. It's gonna be a great meal. I'm sure there's a way to tie those down. They seem all right. Never mind. So where do you have our dough that's already been made? I don't want it to stick too much, so we're gonna put a little oil on it. We're going to flick the bug off the board. This is outdoor cooking at its finest. Okay, I have no idea how all this stuff got in here, but I'm gonna do a quick sweep because there's a bunch of little debris that I should probably get out before I put down the main carpet. Now we're just going to flatten this out. I'm now going to cut two lines, but I'm gonna leave the top intact. Then I'm going to put some pesto on. Now that we got it like this, we're gonna braid it. So I'll start with the middle one, I'll come over, pull this through, go over this middle one, go over this. And there we have it, braided pesto bread. Now I just gotta put in the ghost sun, let it bake, and see what happens. So this is our life in tents, Timberline tent. But this tent breathes super well. We've been super happy with it. You wanna put a rug on top of the vinyl to avoid puncturing any parts of the vinyl. It's very durable, but we wanna play it safe. probably take 45 minutes to an hour to bake the bread all the way through. It gets up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit inside of this solar oven, which is crazy. There's also this really cool little gauge to the side. It lets you know just how on point the sun is with the mirrors because it's really important that it's perfectly aligned so all the sunlight redirects onto the vacuum tube here in the middle. Okay, so next we have a blow up queen size mattress, which is awesome. We're gonna use the Delta EcoFlow to blow it up. We're gonna plug it in, it's gonna blow up. Okay, I'm gonna get these potatoes roasting now, get a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of seasoning on them. They're gonna be really good, at least, well, I hope so. Cut up our onions, our peppers, season these bad boys up. Okay, so on this side, we're gonna make like the kitchen area of the tent. So I'm gonna start bringing in different things that would make sense to go over at the kitchen. Okay, so first for the kitchen is the Go Sun Cooler. This has a built-in battery, so it's gonna keep your things nice and cool for quite a while, especially if you have it plugged in directly to your solar panel or to the Delta EcoFlow. All right, it's been roughly an hour. We're gonna check on the bread and see how it's doing. Oh yeah. Look at that, fluffy, a nice crust. That looks amazing. Let's try a little piece. Oh yeah, wow. What amazes me about the solar oven, even though it's using sunlight to cook it within the vacuum tube where there's a lot of humidity, it can still give you a great golden crust when it comes to bread. Solar ovens are awesome. Okay, so now I have a cooktop burner. That's electric, so you can plug that into the Delta as well. We have a kettle which can be used on top of that. And then we have a French press coffee maker. So yeah, you can definitely make tea or coffee. Okay, so we have two more miscellaneous crates. We'll unbox these shortly, but for now, we're just gonna set them to the side. Let's check on the potatoes, see where they're at. Potatoes take a little bit longer than bread, so it might be a little longer yet, but we'll at least check on them. Oh man. Look, we're getting some great color on the potatoes. We're charring the onion. Let's see if they're cooked. 
Oh wait, it's all cooked. I'm telling you, when solar ovens catch on, they're gonna be everywhere. Okay, so because this end is the kitchen part of the tent, I'm gonna unbox and put together the sink, which will go next to the cooler and next to the cooktop burner. We're gonna eventually get some sort of table or crate, and that's what the burner and stuff will go on, and you'll have this to wash up. Now we're gonna work on our steak. The steak we're using is grass-fed steak. It's right from a local farm down the road. It's really important to always support your local farmers. We're gonna let the steak rest for about 10, 15 minutes, then cut into it and uh, we'll have ourselves a meal. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this together. So what do y'all think? I think it's pretty good. It's great. It's delicious. I mean, the bread's really good. Honestly, I think the potatoes and onions are my favorite. I mean, the steak's super good too. The steak is local from a regenerative farm. Good. <laughs> okay, so now I'm in the side of the tent, which is the living room. We got two wood chairs. I have this GoSun Breeze fan, which you can power off just 12 volts. So you can use a way smaller battery pack than the Delta. Right here, we have the living area. Super basic now, just have the basic chairs. Me, Joe, and Kimball are gonna make this look epic. Ben brought most of the things we need inside of the tent. We are waiting on the small wood stove to come in still. What we're really missing though are some tables and a few areas for storage. We'll go and see how affordably we can get those items for. Trying to do this on the cheap. We don't want to spend a fortune on storage or table areas. You know, we're going for a bit of a boho vibe. Boho, what is Boho, that? bohemian. Oh, bit bohemian. Basically means all my stuff doesn't match. Oh, <laughs> I already live like that. <laughs> yeah, I live like that too. Yeah, Legs are okay. I think it's off grid worthy. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we only found one here, so we might go to Goodwill, look for a few others. Ten dollars for this. Back in the day, uh, stuff like this was like three or four dollars. Inflation. Yeah. Inflation. We're looking for some crates here at Home Depot because they're cheap. We can use them for so many things, from a nesting box for chicken to a table in the tent. So yeah. So this is the Ghost Sun 3000. It doesn't run off of sunlight, it runs off of biomass. It is really... <laughs> Take it fast. You toss, you toss the plastic one. Thanks. Ben, someone's coming. <laughs> Not really. Nice work, ben. I just said that to make you go fast. We could buy some of these bigger plastic tubs for storage, flip them upside down, and cover it with a canvas sheet. Thoughts on that? Wait, we flip one of those upside down and that's a table? Yes. Yeah. Will that look okay? It's like got a cool canvas top. Can you picture it? Well, it'll have all those dents and stuff on the top when you put like plates and stuff on it. We could put a few boards down. Let's just see what happens. By the time we get back to the tent and set this up, let's see how it looks. I think it'll look great. So since Salvation Army didn't have all the tables we needed, we're here at Goodwill. Hopefully they'll have more. Ben, you got me, right? I'm yep. walking backwards. It's okay. all good. The car could take me. The series would be shortened to off-grid in like six days because <laughs> Joe went missing. That's what you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I think this one's a steal. It's $7, it's wood, it's got black metal. I don't know, it's like that Chinese build quality. Okay, this is coming from the guy <laughs> that wants to use plastic totes for our tables <laughs> instead of that. We found two matching tables. That would look kind of cool. Okay, so we just got back. We got a twin set of these pretty solid tables. We got a round small table and then some big plastic container boxes that we want to turn into the side tables for the bed. That'll be pretty interesting. I think it'll look great. Okay, first we have the round table from Salvation Army. I'm thinking we're gonna add this in between the two chairs. Okay, now we have the twin set of these pretty sturdy wood tables. So we have the burner with the kettle, so you make tea and coffee. And then we have coffee grounds right here. We have a plug-in electric heater. We have a few mugs. Underneath we have the plates, tissue, some tea bags. On this side we have things for the burner. We have the trash can. Monitor, check. 
And then we have the Xbox Series S, I believe. Let's say you made some sort of coffee or something and you need creamer. You have this pretty awesome Go Sun cooler. This can run, I think, about six to eight hours on its own, but we'll probably hook it up to the Delta so the Delta will keep it topped up. Okay, and this is the foot pump sink. All the dirty water that you wash off with your hands or whatever, like if you're washing vegetables or something, all of that water will drain out the back of the tent and into the woods. Okay, so the wood stove is going to be coming in for about a week. So it is getting kind of chilly here in Georgia. So this is actually a heated blanket. So I'll use this to keep warm while we wait for the wood stove. All right, Ben here has never had a boiled peanut in his life. I don't know how you've made it this far, Ben, without having one. This Same. man's life will be changed. This is Ben's first boiled peanut. What is that stuff coming out? This is a flavorful juices. Okay, it tastes like a really good pickle, but that's all I can say for it. I don't know if I can agree with that. It's good, it's meaty. Got it's some... pretty good, I mean, I'm never gonna get one. But... <laughs> <laughs> it got really cold. As the day has progressed, we really need the wood stove in here. Okay, this small little heater right here is using 1400 watts, which means the Delta EcoFlow at full power can power this for about half an hour, I think it's 32 minutes. So you can see that when it comes to using energy, heating and cooling takes the cake. We can only power the small heater for just 30 minutes from the one Delta EcoFlow. One solar panel outside is about 400 watts. We would need three to four of those solar panels with sunlight right now, just to cancel out how much is being drawn right now. That just kind of shows you roughly how much energy it takes to heat something. I'm gonna plug in the monitor and the X Box power cord and then that'll go underneath the bed to the Delta EcoFlow. Heating is important, but the real question is how long can we power the Xbox and the monitor for? Let's I'm gonna say we could power this for 10 hours. Nine. The Delta EcoFlow can run this Xbox and the monitor close to 10 hours. So the monitor and Xbox only take 67 watts, whereas the heater takes 1400. Next time you're in your home and you're about to plug in a space heater, just remember the amount of electricity it takes. That's insane. Okay, so the guys and I are getting a little hungry, so I'm going to use the apples that me and Joe got at that pretty cool fruit stand. I'm gonna dice them up, sprinkle some cinnamon on them, and bake them in the Go Sun solar oven for about 30 minutes. Okay guys, so we just made the applesauce and they're gonna try it, so dig in. And nice. you might be wondering who this random guy is. Hi. This is That's my, all you uh, get. <laughs> we don't know who he is either. No added sugar, just cinnamon. Sounds like a applesauce brand that organic soccer moms might like. Yes. That was a joke Kimball made off camera, but he had to make it on camera again, because it's pretty good. <laughs> it is really good. 